This is a very short introduction to the making of our version of the Gesso panel, O Ye, All Ye Who Walk in Willow Wood. Originally created by Margaret MacDonald Mackintosh in 1903 for the room deluxe in the Willow Tea Rooms, Socky Hall Street, Glasgow. The title of this panel comes from a poem by Gabriel Dante Rossetti and is appropriate in this instance as Socky Hall Street means Avenue of Willows. Margaret MacDonald's original panel can be seen in Kelvin Grove Museum, Glasgow. It is too precious and delicate to be used in its original position, which is the reason for the recreating of it. The tea rooms have now been beautifully restored in every detail, back to their original appearance when it first opened in 1903, and is now called Macintosh at the Willow. The base material we are using is called Aerolam, which is chosen for its stability. It will not warp, shrink or expand when exposed to wet gesso. Here it has been cut to size. This is melting pre-made rabbit skin glue by standing it in a jar of hot water. This is then used to attach linen canvas to the panel, which will produce a good key for the gesso. The final layer of rabbit skin glue is painted onto the surface. Gesso is made with pre-slate plaster of Paris, whiting and rabbit skin glue. This is all warmed together gently to make a creamy consistency. This is then sieved through a muslin cloth to remove any lumps. A first layer is brushed on and rubbed in to ensure good adhesion with no air pockets. Approximately nine layers of gesso are built up, applying each layer before the previous one has completely dried. A full-size print of the original panel is traced, ready for drawing bit by bit onto the dried gesso. Areas such as the faces and hands have an extra layer of gesso applied, creating a very smooth finish. And when this is dry, the face details can be drawn on. Background areas are built up, creating texture where needed. The traced image is worked on using the full-size print boards as a guide, capturing all the fine detail. A thicker gesso is made for the raised lines and other details. It is put into a piping gun. A rose is piped on and a lapis lazuli cabochon is placed into the gesso, which acts as a very strong glue. A cabochon is a stone which has a flat base. Other cabochons set into the gesso are amethyst, garnet, rose quartz and moonstones. Margaret MacDonald also used a lot of abalone shell in her panels. For the raised lines she used an icing bag, which we also used initially. But an icing gun is so much easier, as it only requires one hand. No one else, to our knowledge, has used this technique of piping gesso. It was a unique invention of Margaret MacDonald's. We believe she was taught gesso work by Walter Crane, who came up to Glasgow and taught at the Glasgow School of Art while she studied there. She then developed her own style and way of using it to create her distinctive panels the largest of which is about five metres long, the Seven Princesses, and can be seen in the Museum of Arts and Crafts in Vienna. Once all the gesso work is dry, a base colour is painted on. The paint we use is egg tempera, which is just egg yolk and pigment. We buy it in tubes, of course, but it is quite free of any chemicals. The detail is worked on, again, using the full-size print as guidance. The paint can be seen falling into the texture of the brush strokes. 
Seen next to a print of the original, it is much paler. This is because our brief was to create the panel as it would have been brand new in 1903, without the subsequent build-up of general pollution, including nicotine smoke. The finest detail, including the faces and hands, are painted on last. The final process is to burnish the panel with an agate stone. This creates a lovely shine. It is then warmed in front of the fire. And a warm solution of beeswax and turpentine is painted all over. Several layers of this are burnt into the panel, giving it a protective layer, which hardens over time. A final polish and the panel is finished. It is then installed in the original frame designed by the Macintoshes in the Room Deluxe.